Welcome back to Mirror and Thread. I'm Jess. Thank you so much for your feedback on our Looking Expensive on a Budget series. If you have not seen that, we have a playlist of all of those episodes that we've done and we're going to continue to do those. So thank you for letting us know what you like to see that really helps us when it comes to content planning. So today we have a kind of New York Fashion Week trends type of video, but these are things that I feel like you can actually wear. So a lot of what I see at New York Fashion Week, which full disclosure, I have never been to New York Fashion Week. I would love to go sometime, but it is a little pricey, so we haven't gotten to make it yet, but I always watch from home watch from afar and I love seeing all of the things but they look more like art pieces to me than pieces that you could actually functionally wear in your wardrobe. So I tried to kind of take inspiration from a couple of those things but put them into things that I felt like you could actually wear or that I could actually wear in my everyday life. So we're going to jump right in. I have a lot to show you today. Don't forget, everything I'm talking about is linked in the video description. If you're on mobile, it's that little small triangle to the right of the video. Okay, trend number one is polka dots. This is something I saw a lot on the runway. Last, it's actually last New York Fashion Week because they were doing spring trends then, but polka dots are back and really black and white in general, patterned black and white things were really big on the runway. So I found some really fun and easy polka dot items that I think you can definitely incorporate into your wardrobe that are fun and unique without looking two out there. So this is a cute little baby doll dress. These are all Amazon finds, by the way. This one is a super stretchy, easy kind of fit. So I think this is perfect if you like loose, easy fits. If you've got a growing bump for maternity, this would be a great option that you could wear for multiple months throughout your maternity as well. So I have this small in this one and I think it's just going to be so, so cute for spring and summer. It's really easy. It's a great length. It's not too short and it's got the cute little ruffle sleeve as well. And um, I just love a good black and white polka dot. It's classic and you can't go wrong, but I think this is a fun way to kind of incorporate that trend into something that's a little bit more functional. Quick note on the shoes, these are not an Amazon find, these are Steve Madden, but these are my favorite sandals from last year and they're back and I am going to probably be putting them in every spring and summer video from here on out, so I wanted to give them a quick shout out. These are crazy, crazy comfortable platform wedge sandal and they've got a ton of stretch because all of this is elastic, so really comfortable walking shoe if you've got any kind of warm weather vacations coming up, these would be great for that. Here is my other polka dot option, and I think I might like this one even better. It's very unique. I don't think I've ever seen a dress like this, but I don't feel like it's so unique that it's way too out there and you would never wear it. So I think if you've got graduation coming up this spring or a wedding to attend, really any kind of spring event coming up, this would be a really fun statement piece. So it's got the multiple different types of polka dot, and it is kind of a more of a sheer fabric. It's not see-through. I actually was not wearing anything like a slip or anything on underneath, but if that makes you nervous, you might want to wear just like a black slip dress on the underneath of this, but it's kind of a midi length, so in its long sleeve, high neck, so if you like to be more modest and more covered up, this is a great way to do that, but still be really fun and fashion forward. So I'm wearing this small in this one, and it's kind of a stiffer, um, more of a sheer fabric, so there's not any stretch to this one. So um, get your true size unless you go between sizes, and then I would say maybe size up in this one. Okay, the next trend I saw a lot on the runway were these crazy, crazy sleeves. <laughs> so a dramatic sleeve is very in this year, and I found some that I feel like are still giving you that look, 
but aren't way like I mean some of the things on the runway were like there was a sleeve that was going higher than your head so I don't know where on earth anyone would wear that but this I think is a really fun way to do it and still be I don't know looking appropriate so this is a fun red if you're still looking for something for Valentine's Day you actually can still get this in time for Valentine's Day with prime shipping as well but this one does come in a black and I think a pretty burgundy color too but it's just this kind of sheer sleeve and then it's got a little bit of the puff kind of look with some ruching detail on the sleeve and then this is more of a bodycon fit so this is a pretty tight fitting top but there's a ton of stretch to it and I like that it's this high neck it actually zips up the back so it's really easy to get on and off I think it's a flattering look and this is something that you could pair with a skirt like I did I was wearing it with a faux leather skirt for date night or you could do this with jeans um, and dress it down just a little bit or even black jeans and some black heels or something like that I think would be really fun so if you don't like the red snag this in the black but I think this is a really flattering piece on and is really fun and different than anything else I have in my closet so I had on this small one this one staying in a similar vein this is actually kind of a combo of the first trend and the second trend so this is a polka dot sleeve that's also kind of that sheer puff sleeve look this one's obviously short sleeved and it's got a little bit of elastic around the arm so it's more of a ruffled look so cute I think I might even like this one better than the red I just think this is adorable I can totally see myself wearing this for date night or even you guys you could do this for workwear too so put this with a pair of black slacks and I think it would even be workwear appropriate it's not low cut at all or anything like that same with the other one this is kind of a tighter bodycon fit so if you don't want it to fit super tight up against you I would probably size up in this one I was wearing this small and there is some stretch to it but um, it does fit pretty tight and this one has a really cute little ruffle on the neckline as well and then this is a tiny keyhole and it buttons in the back but I just think the sleeve on this is so much fun and this is really really affordable too so all of these things are a great way to test out kind of a trendier piece with something that's really affordable so that you don't feel like you're spending a ton of money on something that you might not wear every single day okay the next thing I saw a ton of on the runway is pantsuits they're everywhere and there's a ton of different takes on this a lot of them were more of the kind of boyfriend looking fit with a really boxy blazer and then a really big wide leg pant so I kind of took the inspo from that and got something that I've always actually wanted to own which is a light pink pantsuit I mean come on this is so much fun so I'm wearing the blazer that came with it with this graphic tee and jeans so you can definitely break these apart and do more with them styling wise but together they're also really fabulous if you have any kind of like speaking engagement coming up or even if you want to do an, a different vibe for like a graduation or some kind of spring event I think this is a really fun alternative to a spring or summer dress too so the light pink definitely makes me think bright and spring this does come in a couple of other colors and and I think this entire suit is like 60 something dollars so really really good price for what it is and honestly overall I was pretty darn pleased with the fit of this the blazer is perfection it's kind of a boyfriend type fit so it does actually hit below my bottom and I think it's just such a cute adorable fit this is exactly what I would have wanted out of a blazer and it's not tight I have the small and I don't feel like I'm about to bust a seam every time I move my arms and then the pants actually fit really well too this is more of a structured blazer so and structured pants so um, they fit really well the only problem that I had with these was they were a touch short I think I think they're actually a touch long on me I think they're meant to be an ankle pant but they were hitting me kind of that in between where it was like are those pants too short or were they supposed to be ankle pants so I think they're a touch long on me I'm only 5'3 I'm kind of used to that but if I were to wear this somewhere I would probably just tailor the pants a bit to be a little bit shorter and hem the bottoms of them but otherwise I think that this is so cute and really good price and very true to size I was really pleased with the fit of this overall 
I do have another pantsuit to show you, but I wanted to take a quick pause to share this trend, which is square toe sandals. This is something that I'm seeing all over department stores already. It's just a little bit different than the classic like pointed toe sandal or round toe that we've been used to in years past. And there's something about this that just feels really fresh to me and new and kind of different, but still very versatile and very um, something that I feel like I'll wear a lot. So I grabbed just a plain white in this and these are in a very affordable Amazon find. I think they're 20 something maybe, maybe $30 range, but they've got the cute little square toe and then they are just the simple um, white two strap and then their balk heel as well. So walking wise, these are pretty comfortable in. This little strap is a touch tighter than this one. It has a little bit of elastic. So if you do have wider feet, um, just be cautious with that. This one might feel a little uncomfortable. Um, once I walked around to them a little bit, they were okay on me, but I have a more narrow foot. So just an FYI on that. But they're true to size, and I think these look really cute with a pantsuit for workwear if you can wear open-toed shoes, but also with just jeans and some of your more dressy spring outfits. I didn't include these with any of the outfits, but I am going to link these for you. This is the other pair of square toe sandals that I got. These are so stinking cute, and these are quite a bit more comfortable than the other ones. They're just a little bit looser on the strap on the toe, and then this one has the buckle, so it's got a little bit more elastic in it, and um, they are a little bit more expensive too, so I think the quality is just a touch higher with these, but so cute. Look at the cute little retro looking buckle on these. And I think these are really neutral, the cream and the brown. I'm going to wear these tons. I can think of a lot of different outfits to wear these with, and they just look really fresh and fun for spring. All right, our new, our other pantsuit is very different vibe than the pink one. So this is not a structured kind of look. This is actually a like stretchy um, knit type of material. So very different feel, but I still thought this was really fun. And if you wanted something that's a little bit more of a statement piece than your classic pantsuit, I think this is a fun option. Very, very affordable. So this is not going to be one of your really structured high end type of pantsuits. I'm just telling you that up front. But if you want it for the trend and you want some fun pieces that you can pair a couple of different ways, I do think this one's really fun. So I always love a window pane pattern. I think it goes with a lot. And I think this blazer, kind of like the pink one, you could wear just with a pair of denim and it would be really fun to pair a lot of different ways as well. And then the pants are such a different vibe. These are actually elastic waist, so very comfortable. This is a really stretchy material overall, and they do have pockets in them. Once they're on with the blazer, and I just paired both my pantsuits with a simple white cami, so I'll try to link one of those for you too. But once they're on with a, the blazer and a cami and some heels, it actually looks very professional, but it feels like you're wearing a pair of sweatpants or something. Like these are super comfy. And again, I was pretty pleased with the fit of both of these pantsuits. So I had this small in this one as well, and they fit like a glove. Once again, the length was a little long on the pants, so I had them rolled under for the sake of the video. If I were wearing this somewhere, I would hem these as well. I'm 5'3 for height reference if you missed that earlier, but this one's pretty fun if you want to do a fun, trendy pantsuit. The last trend is tie-dye. This is back with a vengeance and it makes my 90s heart happy. <laughs> and I don't love a whole lot of tie-dye things, honestly. I don't like a lot of really, really bright colors and wild things. I say that as I'm wearing a pink blazer but typically I wear more kind of neutral colors. So this is the perfect balance between those things with the tie-dye trend, but you're also still in a neutral color palette. And this was one of my all-time bestsellers for the life of my YouTube, blog, Instagram, everything. This is like number two, I think, on all of the top seller lists. So I had this one last year and we all flipped out over it. I wore it so much posted it so much and I got tons of great feedback from people saying how much they loved this one. It's crazy, crazy comfy. It's got pockets on both sides and you can tie this up like I did with a denim jacket around the waist. You can also tie up the ends of it. So it's got slits on both sides. 
You can tie it up in the front and back and make it a little bit more of a midi dress versus a maxi if you wanted to, but this fabric is incredible and I could not get enough of this last summer and spring. I just wore this probably once a week, threw it on with a pair of sandals. So easy, so comfy, and I think it's a way to fit in some tie-dye without having to go really loud with it. I was wearing size small in the dress as well. It does fit a little bit oversized, but um, I kind of wanted it to fit that way. So if you don't want it to fit quite as big, you might size down in that one. The other little tie-dye thing I grabbed was just this simple pink t-shirt. Once again, if I'm going to do a tie-dye, I kind of want it to be one color with some white. So this was the perfect option for that. This one does fit a little bit small as well. So this is the small in this one and it was plenty tight. If you want more of a classic t-shirt fit and not like a fitted t-shirt, I would probably size up one in this one. But I thought it was really cute with the denim jacket, which I will link for you. And I just wore it with some white jeans and then those white sandals that I was sharing earlier. So once again, a way to kind of incorporate one of the trendier things for spring 2020 while still feeling like you're appropriate and like you're not going too far too trendy. All right, that's a wrap on our Fashion Week trends of 2020. I hope that's been helpful for you to learn how to kind of incorporate some of those things and not have to emulate the whole full gamut of what was shown on the runway. Please leave me a comment if you would and let me know what was your favorite. And if you really love this video, we would love if you would share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much for watching.